Okay, welcome back. So this part of the lesson uh, is just going to demonstrate or just going to show you the solutions to all those examples that I skipped earlier, but without uh, digging into a deep explanation. So let me share again the Excel file. Okay, so this is our Excel file. So let me just show you again from here. So sum if, oh, sorry, count if. The next example is number of microwave orders. So microwave is in column D. So that's just equal to count if. Range is D2, column D25, microwave. Uh, double quotation, don't forget. Close parenthesis, close parenthesis, press enter. Number of journeys with track three. Track three is the transport column uh, F. Okay. It's still count if. Range is F2 to F25, comma, and then track three. A link, the space should be there. So it's just going to be the same what's written on the list. Okay. Number of Peter White journeys. Uh, Peter White is the driver, driver's name. So it's in column letter C. So it's equals to count if uh, range is C2, column C25 comma, uh, Peter, no spelling wrong, uh, double quotation, uh, close parenthesis, press enter. So your answer should be this 45869. Okay, let's go to the sum if. I'm going to complete this. Sum of washing machine items. So I think it's just the same as uh, F in F36, so I'm going to copy this, escape, go here, go V. Some of D to D25 is the range where I'm going to find the washing machine. The only difference is this is not a refrigerator anymore, so washing machine, okay? But the sum range is E2 to E25, these are the items, okay? The, the number of items. So uh, that's where what we're going to add. Press enter. So the answer is 164. Sum of items transported by track 4. Equals sum if. Uh, range will be track 4 is the transportation. Again, where is that? Letter F. Okay. F2, F25, comma, track 4. Four, comma E2 E25. This is the again E2 to E25 is the values or R is the the list or the column that has the values that we're going to add. So it's just going to be the same all throughout. Okay, but for on, only for this example. Okay. Now let's answer the rest. Count F's number of Peter White journeys with track one. So we're going to filter, uh, we go, we're going to find Peter and then we're going to uh, find uh, the times or the number of occurrence that he drove track one. So that's going to be count ifs. Okay, criteria range one is Peter White and Peter White or the number, the driver's name is in C2, C25. So I don't have to go back there. Uh, I clearly can remember because we just did it earlier. Um, Peter White. So if there's a mistake, then you can figure it out. You can find out. Uh, find it out. Track one is in F2 to F25. You said if it is having count ifs or some ifs, the criteria that we're going to find out has to be coexisting like they are anded you know the logic of and 
uh, this should happen and this should happen at the same time. Okay, so I finish this. I have answer two. Okay, there are just two times. Okay, number of orders between 0, 3, 0, 2, 20, 2013 and 0, 6, 0, 2, 2013. Let's just count ifs. Okay, two times it happened. I mean, like there are two criteria, sorry. Criteria range one is date. Date is on the B column. I can still remember it. And then double quotation mark greater than or equal to 0, 03 slash 02 slash 2013. Okay. That's how you write this. Okay, so greater than or equal to 0302 2013. You're finding between these two dates, therefore it includes the first the start date and the end date. Comma. Uh, B2 to B25 again. That's going to be less than or equal to 06 slash 02 slash 2020. Uh, no, double, double quotation first. Oh, sorry. Let me go back here. Double quotation before. Okay, okay so this is our formula count. Ifs, sorry, count. Ifs. Okay, B2, B25, greater or equal to B2, B25, less than or equal to 0602013. Press enter. The answer should be 14. Okay, now let's proceed here. Uh, some ifs, some of items transported to Pittsburgh by track one. So it's just going to be a combination of what we have before so you just need to like practice on this exercise or oh, not exercise examples so some ifs with s uh, we start with the sum range and that's e2 to e25 so you have to remember why am i typing e2 to e25 because this is the column that has the list of the values and it is true for all throughout these questions because we're using only one table okay uh, criteria range one now is Pittsburgh, which is on the last column, G2, G25. Uh, Pittsburgh. P-I-T-T-S, B-U-R-G-H, close parenthesis. And then track one is on the F, transport, comma, one. Close the double quotation mark, close parenthesis, press enter. 75 is the answer. Okay, and then lastly, sum of items ordered between 0302-2013 and 0602-2013. So I'm not going to type this again. I'm just going to copy the previous in the count tips and then I'm just going to edit that one. Go inside, copy, escape. Okay, so it will not change the formula. Escape or, yeah, press enter. And then go inside the cell and you can paste it now. Okay, but again, I'm not using count ifs. It's going to be sum ifs. Okay, the first argument in sum if or sum ifs is sum ifs is the sum range. So don't forget that. That's why I'm going to type E2 to E25. Hmm. And then the second range is already written on this formula. B2, B25 greater than or equal to 0, 3, 0, 2, 2013. B2, B25 uh, less than or equal to 0, 6, 0, 2, 2013. Now I can press enter. The answer is 309. Okay. So this is the last part of lesson number four. However, I'm going to see you in the live session for the next activity regarding or relating to this topic, lesson number four. So have a good day. Uh, please try to watch all the videos and try to prepare and study uh, regularly. Okay, 
so you can we can prepare for uh, the opening of the university and it will happen soon uh, inshallah okay so and let's all pray that this crisis will be over uh, that God permits we can stabilize the number of uh, cases uh, in Oman so we can now uh, open the university but uh, for your part please try to uh, be careful uh, try to be cautious precautious as I told you before we all uh, uh, suspended the classes or the face-to-face -face classes in in the university our first orientation I told you about this so please try to practice whatever I said whatever I told you okay so have a nice day I'll see you on the lectures live sessions and the next videos Okay, so I'll see you. Take care. God bless. And ciao.